Good afternoon everybody, how you doing? It's we Paddy from Across the Shock and you're very welcome back to the channel. Right, you've seen this knife, you've seen the description. It is, let me just get this over there. It is the Lumberjack Stockman 858 Old Timer Bone. The B is for bone, you see this over here, Old Timer Bone. <clears throat> Super big knife. Comes in this big long box where the blades are opened out. But what you've got in it, stainless steel blades. I'll get back to that in a second. The clip point is four and a half inches. Or 3.4 inches. I'm not good with these point things. Sheepshoot blade is 2.3. Spade blade is 2.4. Saw cut bone handle, which is fantastic. Nickel silver bolsters. And the steel blades. This is not your average just steel. Well, it, it is. It's a basic steel, but it's a blooming good. It's 9CR18, which is somewhere similar to 440C, let's just say. 440C. It'll be very close to 440C and stainless. It's just... Well, it's not a bargain till you know what the price is. I went on to Heine Hens today. They have these in stock, and they're just under £28. For a stockman that's four and a half inches long, the, this one, the cutting edge on these two is about two inches and the cutting edge in this is about two and three quarter. An absolutely fantastic working knife if you want a working knife. And it weighs 3.2 inches. So it's not over heavy, but you know, it's not lightweight. It's a good, I'm just going to double check that. I might be uh, telling refibs here. Let me just double check that. Uh, on let's just see where we are 4.2 I thought it was I just thought a second so it's 4.2 absolutely no problem at all inch per length of blade yeah well under it with these things I mean this is a, a stockman stockman pattern although they call it the lumberjack just because it's the big size and if you want to see what big size is in reality, if you know the Remington bullet knife, this big behemoth of a knife, uh, this is just a two blade, this is a trapper, but it's exactly the same size as that. And this is just, it's got my favourite big spay blade on a production knife that I have. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. So it's a big knife down here. And I've got some other stockings to show you size wise. So this is just be a very large stockman. And the blade steel, fantastic. You get the three blades, you get your clip point with the nail nick there. There's no half stops in this knife, but that's a lovely clip, isn't it? Beautiful big clip point. Mirrored blades, which are fantastically done. I just want to check sharpness out of box. I haven't used this. This is a sort of first, well, it's not a first impression. Oh. That's not bad. It's not buck standard, but it's not bad. You know, I'll get away with that. I'll quite happily do that. The blade grinds at all these. I would just take this for instance. The blade grind is absolutely fine in all of them, which is, you know, you complain about the Chinese, but this is as good as any, any I've had. Let me see what this is like. Yeah, it, it could do with a little strop. And a little strop is all that would need. And the spay blade. Now, my mates Thrifty and uh, Slippy, they don't like the spay blades. I think you can get away with this one because it looks more like a pen blade. It's a very poor attempt at a spay blade. But a really good pen blade. As big as some pocket knives. Uh, main blade. Uh, that, that one's better cut. Again. Absolutely fine. They're rough cut like most knives are, especially budget knives, they're rough cut. But that's sharp edges in all three. It would take no time at all to strop these and that's all they would need. You don't need to cut them, just strop them. I think it's a, an absolute belter. It's actually, again, I, I've been getting knives recently that are really good. I mean, I do a budget knife of the year. I would find this it's too hard to pass. £28. That is one hell of an offer for a knife. I mean, look at the fit and finish on this. I got this from Heine. It's just an order. They don't check anything for me. Nothing like that. Look at that fit and finish. That is as good as they come. This saw cut. Now, this is 
white bone and then with a socket here i'm not sure what they do whether this is a film they put on top of this i'm not sure but it's so grippy um i know saw cuts some of them are more just to see and i have just sort of show you this is another old timer with a saw cut bone you know slightly grippy because this is so big and it, my finger just doesn't move on it so if you're going out in the rain or anything it's a stainless steel blade just take care of it try it when you come back brass liners everything about this is just it's just phenomenal and that's why i'm sort of bringing it up and ahead because this is just a bargain i don't know how many they've gotten tiny at the minute but honestly if you're a, a traditional knife lover and you want a big work knife that's going to give you three good blades to do that'll get you through any day and if you've got a belt on you you can just keep this sharp and it's dead simple don't let the blades go bump sharpen them on your belt a bit of leather your jeans anything at all so easy to keep especially if you're working on a building site where things are going to get dinged or whatever you can get an edge back on these so simply but 9cr18 it's a good blade steel it really is especially for a pocket knife it's an absolutely fine three blades fantastic so i showed you the remington here's a, a buck stockman and this is the american made one this is a 301 stockman buck 301 made in the usa and it's a large stockman so this is the extra large stockman here's a medium stockman this is a, an old timer look at oh let me just get these up here sorry i was a bit uh look at the difference in the progression on these beautiful all three beautiful knives buck make a lovely knife the difference between the old timers you can see that these are two uh two back springs on these in the buck they have three back springs which has the 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 advantage of giving you stockier blades and there's no blade rub basically on these it's just three three blades going down the center three back springs there's not much can go wrong with them Good solid blades, buck make a good knife. So do old timer. And old timer are made by Schrade. I just think there's an option for any day, you know, that you want three blades to take out. And any one of these will do mine. But, you know, I say you go down to the woods or something. When I go down to the woods, I'll carry something like this. It's on my belt. I'll have my 71 in it or another one of my patterns. But you can put that in your belt, stick it in there. Go down and it's just a matter of pulling it out from the sheath, which can be a bit tight. But, you know, great. You've got a three bladed knife. It's not have four inches, four inches. Slow down, big boy. <laughs> four and a half inches long and 4.2 inch. Or, oh, for goodness sake. 4.2 uh, ounces is quite heavy and quite big for a pocket knife. So having the ability to just slot it in there is perfect and it's on your side you don't feel it so take that back out of there so honestly i am really really impressed with it i know it's chinese made but again when they do it right they do it right and they really have just got this one down to a, a fantastic a bargain at under 28 pound come on tell me why would you not buy one of these to have in your collection i have no idea it is super lovely big blade that'll get all your days and it's really comfortable but look you know what i like a hyra castle finger goes there completely safe ain't gonna close on you just super i absolutely love it and each one of the blades is a hyra castle this is a work knife it really is and these blades are so well kept down they're not sticking up too high when it's in the hand yeah you can feel them there but you know i'm not going to be cutting for three hours with this you know just not going to take so wrap it round. you've got plenty there the grip on this knife is absolutely super it really is i mean I, to be honest with you i i, I say it because it, it lets people know it's a bit of safety but i don't need to get my finger up there this is sturdy enough this is really sturdy enough that i'm not going to worry too much about it and i mean if you even if you've got your hand down here in this big knife it's going to have to, a hell of a way to travel to get you there's no half stop but come on i just think that is lovely the bone is beautifully done it's mated up to the the nickel silver bolsters perfectly absolutely perfectly 
really it looks like there's like a bit of g10 or something in the end or maybe that's just a a bit of glue that they put in so there's no gaps whatsoever no gaps between the bone and the uh the copper i just think that is gorgeous gorgeous so i, I don't know where else says it in the uk i just checked tiny there that's where i got it from was from heine what a bargain just get over there and uh I don't know how many have beautiful snap no blade rub at all in any of the blades it is so well done look at that not touching at all on two blades on a two back spring come on it can be done it can be done and when a, a company can sell something like this for that price with a, a blade steel of 9cr18 440c superb so there's my three i've actually got an even smaller one uh, than this I'll maybe get it out the next time I haven't got it here with me uh, which brings it down to all four sizes but I love it please go and give them a check out this is the old timer 858 OTB a fantastic and definitely a knife that is going forward to my uh, budget knife of the year without a shadow of a doubt you, you couldn't pass this up couldn't take care Paddy's away for a wee cup of tea and I'll see you very shortly for another video. Bye-bye now.